Now then, welcome to Jaded Pack's Agrarian Skies 2. Uh, Agrarian Skies 2 version 1.0.30. Still very much uh, beginnings of a mod pack, uh, but everything's there, all the essentials are there to get started. So I thought we would. I thought we'd have a first look at what all the maps are that are in here. Selected world for single players, lots and lots of maps available. And uh, you can reset your maps as well, which is pretty cool. I've seen that this more V build is the actual build that people will be playing the most, I should think. This is like the official um, map for the mod pack for the Agrarian Skies series. Uh, we've got a few others up here, though. Let's have a look at this Bonnie Intermediate, an intermediate start. I believe Jaded Cat offered out uh, a load of map makers, the basic resources of the pack and a starting location to build the map for her to give more options available in the download, which is a very, very cool idea, I have to say. And one of the things, uh, wow, this is this is quite cool. I will have a little bit of lag when I first load up a world, even though it's a void age, as it were. Uh, just because things get set up that way, uh, we've got one piece of dirt there, we've got one piece of dirt there, we've got one piece of dirt there. Okay, so we've got four bits of dirt on this map, a nice little uh, centerpiece, very cool, very cool. A little bit of glowstone notches in there, looking good. We've got our water source, and uh, light is flowing nicely as well. We've got light sources, water source, so we've got a water source that we can use. Uh, it's not so easy to carry or move, though, by the looks of it. We've got the uh, starter chest. Starter chest, bone meal, oak, birch, spruce, jungle, a couple of apples, and a bit of flint. I think that's like the proviso that every every single map should start with at least those resources. And the inventory is blocked out. That's a mod in there that uh, keeps all that blocked out until you unlock things. For instance, here we go. Taking inventory, I have now taken inventory, fireworks go off, I have unlocked an inventory slot. There we go, and for some reason I've got some wings on my back. Where did they come from? Where did I get wings? I've got butterfly head. i got butterfly head. I don't know if that's on every map, or whether it's just this one. <laughs> I don't know. Let's have a look. Uh, so if that's a starter chest, what's this chest over here? Another version, another starter chest. Is that the one I just checked? Uh, two identical starter chests and two water sources and four dirt from a central position. Well, it looks pretty cool, I gotta say. It looks pretty cool. Let's move on to the next map. This is possibly like a two-player competition map by the looks of it. That would look pretty cool having a two-player competition. But let's see what the next map is. I think the template was simply that is where builders would start from. Uh, the default platform, I think that's another where the builders start from. Uh, Dart Temus, all that remains. All that remains. Let's have a look, see what all that remains is. There is one. Uh, there's quite a few of this. Yeah, We'll ignore missing items and stuff. They've obviously been removed in the pack being made. Uh, let's have a look. Yes, this is the virtually impossible one. Uh, chunk. I've, I've got those wings on again. Yeah. Soul Chunk Claimer from Sangramancy. Okay. You start off in what looks like a bed. You've got your starter chest, which is just the basics again. A stack of bone meal. Exactly what Jaded Cat asked the map makers to leave in. Uh, but there's a few random other bits and pieces around. Nothing really to start out on. A little bit of parkour to get past an iron door. On to here with some very cruelly placed apples down there. Just... Just out of reach, because you wouldn't be able to get back up again. Uh, and one piece of dirt. So, annoyingly, that would make it very difficult to bring down. You can't get a pick until you've got your first bit of wood. So, it would make this particular map a fairly difficult challenge. And I think that's the idea. It's pretty cool looking, as it were. All that remains of a place. Very good. Mist Plaza's Intermediate is the next one we're going to have a look at. That is also missing some blocks, but that's okay. And we're around and about... Here we go. Yeah. And we've got this soul chunk claimer again. 
We've got the wings still. We've got the awards for taking inventory already. Awesome. We'll turn it today and have a good look around. So we've got a platform up here with a piece of dirt and all of the things that you're supposed to have. Virtually a stack, a few bits of flint, a few of each sapling. So quite a decent amount of stuff, really. Quite a decent amount of stuff. Uh, over here you've just got platforms and a water source down here and a platform over here looking pretty good Looking nice and simple and doing exactly what it needs to do. These are uh, diamond Diamond things diamond strips one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen Fourteen diamond strips not enough to make a block or anything useful, but just there pretty cool Okay, next map. Mist Easy, Sweet Reminisce. Sweet Reminisce. Sounds like it's going to be something uh, to reminisce over the Agrarian Skies 1. And indeed, here we are. We're in a nice little uh, Agrarian Skies-like house on an Agrarian Skies-like island. We've got... Uh, time set day... We've got a water source over here that runs down behind the house in this case. Yep. Yeah. Sort of agrarian skies like. That's a very, very notable feature of agrarian skies. And one piece of dirt, a little house, and we've got all the things you would expect in the chest. Pretty awesome looking. Pretty awesome looking. Uh, but that's it for having a look at what the community have made as maps. Now we're going to have a look at what is the main attraction. The Morvi build. I'm going to reset that map first. Make sure that it's all completely empty. And then we're down here. Jump onto that. Palais Selected World. Now this is where it begins. This is where Agrarian Skies 2 begins for Nemson. <laughs> Okay, well here we are. Brand new Agrarian Skies world, brand new world. Uh, we've got an aroma backup that's going to be doing backups every 30 minutes. So that's going to be my sort of timer for episodes. I'm going to record a bunch of episodes starting right now. Uh, uh, and I'm going to get the HQM activated. There we go. Going to have a look. Uh, you have reached this region either by being assigned or to it by your overlords or by complicating a previous region's rebuilding or completing I suppose that's supposed to be completing a previous region's rebuilding there's still a lot to be done to repair the destruction of the old world whatever your reason for being here the jaded one the cute one and the all-knowing one are happy you are here to take up the task of rebuilding our poor world the three overlords will be joining in guiding you by so other meddling watchers. The three overlords will be joined in guiding you by other meddling watchers. I get it, okay. Some will help you. Some will want you to see, uh, want to see you fail. Choose wisely what advice you follow. Not all paths have the best outcomes. The first step on your path. Punch tree, get wood, avoid dragons. Okay, we can do that. Uh, recently, it got a bit of a boost in the number of quests. There's currently 83 quests in total available. We've got some little reputations. Quite nice. Cool. Awesome. Uh, we've got a lot of little categories down here that are not yet unlocked, that are all locked. Potentially, they don't have anything in them right now. Uh, I remember seeing previous version that there were just some placeholders in here as well. Uh, but now we're going to do learning to skyblock. Uh, let's start off here. There's quite a few quests here now. And we're going to start off by the first steps. Get some oak wood. Now, if I recall, there is a spawn area just down here. Yeah, spawn point. And this has quite a few essentials in it. Uh, first of all, I'm going to need to increase my inventory size. By setting off a load of fireworks and getting another space here. <laughs> I've got these uh, wings. They're not in Bauble's menu. Uh, they're not in the equipment menu, are they? I can't turn them off anyway. No, nope. there's nothing I can do to turn them off. Okay, well, never mind. And I'm just going to pick up all of this in the whole chest load of stuff. I just want the whole lot. Thank you. 
and we'll take all this upstairs and put it down somewhere safe. We are also going to plant some trees very fast because that is a big objective, is to get the oak wood that we need. And I've got plenty of bone meal to get started, but I don't want to use bone meal all the way through as much as possible. I want to try and save a little bit. So take this, and I think there's a hole over here that I want to plug. Yeah, there we go. Okay, that's that. Good, good. And grab the rest of the stuff that was down here. There's quite a lot to do in a skyblock to start out with. And I've not been around skyblocks enough, really, to know 100% what we do. But I'm going to give it a go anyway. I'm going to try my best. Uh, guide API. The welcome blood magica to your journey through the dark paths in blood magic. Strange and dangerous things will happen should you follow this path. Thou hast been warned. Uh, yes, I have. Thank you very much. And a soul chunk claimer. Um, not sure how that works yet. Sangromancy. We will get into it, no doubt, in the future. For now, though, let's punch some wood, people. Let's get some wood growing and get the first quests underway and done. I'm going to try and do as many quests this week as humanly possible. I'm going to try and blast through the achievements, uh, open up as many quests as possible, and do all of those kind of things. Pop lots of fireworks into the sky. Thank you very much. That's unlocked three now. Awesome. And the achievement get is oak wood got crafting task craft some planks. Okay, we've also we've got to keep an eye on our achievements. So uh, taking inventory that was the first one. Getting wood now we do a crafting bench. So we've got to do this for a quest in the book. There we go. And then manual submit that. Fine. That moves on to the next one. Cool. I'm going to pick a thing. What should we have? Uh, the pick of tears. We're going to have the pick of tears. And some apples. Awesome. Next thing we've got is make a wooden pickaxe. Or hand in a wooden pickaxe as such. Now, that ties in with the achievement get. The achievement get down here. Time to mine. So, let's get on with getting these achievements in here. And opening up more inventory slots. Hey! More achievement get. Awesome. Fireworks and stuff. Which means now I've got four inventory slots opened up. Pretty cool. Uh, I can still chop down this tree though, because I'm going to need the rest of the wood to make the other items that you need to unlock more inventory spaces. I'm going down the route of getting the vanilla achievements as fast as possible before the night wears in, and try and get something going on there for, for all that stuff. Uh, we'll have Tinker's Construct in the pack as well, so let's get some crafting done of that. Don't like that water going down there, because it feels like it's going to take stuff and drop stuff and make me die lots. So, that water stops right there. That's enough. Finished. And, yeah, I'll break these leaves down. Get whatever I can. These leaves will drop this uh, basil. We will drop basil a lot. But that's okay. Basil has an awesome use in the sky block. Uh, Ex Nihilio will put good use to all this basil that we've been getting. Uh, it basically increases the amount of vegetation that you get from growing trees. Before in Ex Nihilio, you would only really get the saplings and the apples would be some things that you could uh, compost. But now we also have um, this basil stuff, which is kind of cool, I guess, if you like that sort of thing. Uh, right, so we're going to make a pick from wood, and that'll give us an achievement get. Achievements, that's the time to mine. The upgrade and the furnace, we're going to have to get a bit later on. But we can also do time to farm and time to strike while we're here. Get those achievements unlocked as well. Time to strike, we'll get a wooden sword. Now these don't actually do anything for us, but I can burn them. And that's better than nothing, I suppose. Uh, we get that. Thank you. I'm going to need another tree. Give me more. Thank you. I'm going to need at least a little bit more wood to complete this. And we've got to do all the Tinker's Construct stuff. Hopefully I can get all that done in the first 30 minutes of playing. I'm going to just play continuously. And uh, put out probably daily episodes, really. Because I, I just want to play it for a good long while. I want to get a load done. And I'm bringing you guys along for the journey. So you can see what's going on and enjoy it with me. Um, okay, what was the other thing? The hoe. Yeah, we'll make a little wooden hoe. 
There we go. Unlock another inventory slot. We get in there, we get in there. And now, after unlocking those achievements, we need to make bread, cakes, we need to kill a cow, kill monsters, and also upgrade with cobblestone. So there's not much more of these achievements we can do yet. We've also got the uh, chemical wizardry, blood magic, we've got Batania, and we've got some applied energistics, and we've got the trophies, and what's this, Tinker's Construct. I need to get the book. Open the manual to unlock that first one. But I haven't been supplied with a manual to start off with. So I'm going to have to figure on making one. And get a book and make one. But it, it ties in quite nicely with the quests over here. So inventory slots. That's wooden pickaxe that I've got in my inventory that's useless to me really. Can't do anything with it. Manual submit that and is then useful to me. I get a trophy, two chests and some raw fish and some fruit juice. I'm going to take the raw fish... Flish. I'm going to take the flish and claim that. And uh, just blonk, plonk the chest down over here. So that I've got some chests for these sort of bits and pieces. Miscellaneous things that I'm getting. Uh, food and that. There we go. This pick of tears is actually pretty cool. It's made of tearjerker material. Which I also found out in Magic Farm 3. So Jaded is probably using the same sort of... Uh, set up for her Tinker's Construct as she's using in Magic Farm 3 as well. Maybe there's some subtle differences, but this is um, plus 7 attack. So it's as good as a diamond sword in attacking straight away, which is awesome for defending yourself at night against whatever little baddies there are here. Speaking of which, now I've got a pickaxe. I'm going to take this torch and I'm going to stick it where the sun don't shine. Literally, stick it where the sun don't shine. I'm going to get up here and I'm going to put a torchlight up on the top here. I do need the Monster Hunter ability, but I don't need the mobs coming and blowing me up and killing me before we even get started. So, break, damn it, before I die. Come on. Yes. Okay. And we're up onto the top of the water source. And I'm literally just going to place a torch up here to stop as much mob spawning as possible. In fact, I'm going to put it that side. So there's a potential there might still mob spawn down there. But that gives us a bit more safety at night until we've got a bed that we can uh, sleep in. And uh, change night to day and all that good stuff. Alright. Well, we're looking like we've got a good start for the first day. Not too bad. Got to make all the tinkers stuff. Let some more trees grow. I'm trying to keep the valuable resources of uh, bone meal for when I actually need it, and it feels like I'm going to need to do at least one more tree right now, doesn't it? Because I've got very little in the way of supplies in order to make the Tinker's Construct stuff. So I apologise for the darkness. That is just the way it is, I'm afraid. Uh, I'm breaking wood, making all the basics, and trying to get as much done as I possibly can in this first 30 minutes. And uh, replanting where I go. Oh, there's a little trick with these uh, trophies as well, I'll show you in a second. Uh, to open up your inventory slots. There we go, we've got that. Awesome. Right, so, trophy, you right-click it, and you unlock another inventory slot, which is pretty cool. Alright, so, Tinkers. We need to make all the Tinkers stuff, I believe. Let me just check the book. Uh, the first stage, yeah. All of the Tinker's stuff. So we've already done crafting station, we've already done blank patterns, part builder, pattern chest, tool station, and stencil table. And that gets us a few cool bits and pieces to help us on our merry travels. Let's start with making a chest for the pattern chest. And I hope we've got enough for everything else. That unlocks the books as well, which is cool. Uh, we're also going to need a log with one on for the part builder. Need that with one on for the stencil table. And we're going to need to make ourselves a crafting bench with one on for the tool station. And that should unlock everything. I've got space in my inventory to collect the reward as well. Aluminium ore, milk bottle or egg. And we've got to make tools, a flint pickaxe. Easy done. Let's, let's check this all out down here, shall we? Let's put the table down there with the stencil table... Next to it down there, the tool station, part builder, like that. That should work. Yep, there we go. There's a kind of a graphical glitch with this, but that's 
by the by, it doesn't really matter too much. We'll we'll survive, won't we? We'll survive without that, that little graphical glitch. Might be annoying, but it will get fixed at some point, no doubt. Uh, let's pop that back down there. There we go. Lots of things to be done and built. Uh, the first thing that they wanted me to do was get an axe. So let me axe a question. Uh, there we go. Let's do this. Grab some more patterns. I think I only need the axe head for axes. So let's just put that in there and get an axe head. There we go. Did I hear something? I hear bubbling or something? No, it's all very quiet. That's good. That's good. We like. And then part builder will take this and flint and make an axe head. I can't put anything in there. It looks like I can, but I can't. And then we've got that. Okay. And claim. I'm going to claim the eggs as a reward. Just because eggs make chickens. And that means I've got a ch potential chicken farm already for me. Okay. And I'm going to make this axe in the tool station, of course. Uh, let's get an axe. I would actually like to make a, a mattock first. But I got flint. I should be okay. Uh, the first stage of any sky block where we've got Ex Nihilio is to get to the Ex Nihilio Civ stages. And I believe that the questing system does take you basically through to that point with fairly simple and easy instructions just following the quest lines. I think I'm going to be eating that apple for days if I carry on trying that. Uh, there's nothing else to eat yet though. Uh, there's fish, but I can't cook it. Yeah, I think we're stuck with the food we've got for now. Just for now, let's let's try and complete some more quests and unlock some more stuff fast. So, old McDonald had a farm. We make some crop sticks and we get some lettuce seeds and some normal seeds and some potato seeds or a hoe, a raiding hoe. Okay, fine. String. If I make a crook, I get a sheep and some seeds of some description. And kill one zombie and one skeleton and I get cows and a full heart, reward bag or pot. Pretty cool, pretty cool. I like. So let's make the things that it wants me to make. Let's make um, let's make a crook. That's how we make a crook still. Good, good. And there is now these things from AgriCraft. There we go. Uh, I'm, I think this is a... like. Yeah, it seems to be that it's a sh kind of a shapeless recipe. Uh, so we get those. There we go. That's for planting all of our food on. So we've got that. That's that done. Let's take the potato seeds. Because I don't really care about the hoe. Claim that reward. Awesome. And then we've got the crook. So we want to get some silkworms from a tree. So we'll grow the first tree and get that sorted out. Uh, meanwhile, let's get ourselves a little farm going. Uh, we're, we're not going to go for too much. And I've got a bit of bone meal, so... Uh, yeah, it should be okay here. Let's put... Let's put the farm just next to this here. Uh, yeah, just there will be fine. Let's do the same here. Yep. And what do we get here? This stuff. I think that's a hole down there. I don't like the look of it. Let's block it off so I can't fall down it while I'm uh, doing stuff we'll uh, hoe it with the mattock that I should have made yeah I should have made a hattock let's quickly make the mattock oh I've got something down there thank you put that away let's get some more bits of flint make uh, a, not a pickaxe head we want now a, an axe head no, a shovel head. There we go. We get a shovel head pattern. Uh, make a shovel from flint. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, I can't put it in those slots, though. Got to remember that when these slots are open like this, I can't put things in them still. There we go. And then part build a mattock, which is that there and that there and one of those there. Maybe the other way around works better. There we go. Flint mattock. Good, good. And I can hoe the land with a mattock. Awesome. And then put these crop seeds down with some normal seeds in it. Let's plant the lettuce there. And let's plant the normal seeds there. For now, we've got to get a lot more 
biomatter and stuff sorted out for a little bit just to get these growing. Uh, because I'm so hungry though, I'm going to use a bit of bone meal to get the first few bits of uh, lettuce going. So we'll sp spam that. Uh, no, why not? Oh, that was working in testing. Hmm, maybe because it's not daylight? It's about to be daylight. I'll test that out again in a minute. Will this uh, bone meal work on these in the daylight? Yes, it does. Okay, well, I don't know why... I don't know why bone meal doesn't work on the plants anymore. It did when I was testing. When I did, like, the first run-through, just to see that most of the first bits of quest and the functionality and stuff was all there. I did... Uh, I did have bone mealing of those crops. Come on, let's see. So we get the crook... We'll get lots of things from the leaves. We'll just decay them faster. But there's a chance that we'll get silkworms as well. And silkworms are very, very useful in Exnahelio. And using the crook on the leaves is the only way to get them as far as I know. So there we go. Did I get any? They're difficult to see. Uh, no, I didn't get one. Okay. We're going to do a bit more bone mealing then. Fine. Let's get another half stack bowl meal and actually I'm going to put this stuff away don't need it anymore get another tree on the go and hope for a little tiny wriggly worm to come out uh, yeah nothing yet nope still nothing yet you're going to get one eventually we've got enough bone meal to keep frying this for a while Come on, gimme, 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 gimme. Gimme that wriggly silkworm. Uh, still nothing. Okay. Well, who'd have thunk it? Well, we'll see. We'll see if I can get one on a future attempt. Bound to eventually, I suppose. And can I bone meal this in daylight? Yes, I can. Maybe it was the daylight problem that I had then. And then get some wheat. Yeah. Pop that. Pop that. Pop that. Mature it. Take this. Give me some more lettuce, please. Thank you. And eat up the lettuce. Oh, my. The days of eating lettuce are upon us. And I can also plant this, 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 and this. And I want to plant one over here as well for when I do get a silkworm. I've got the ability to start getting string very fast. Uh, I'm going to have lots and lots of random chests for a little while before we get ourselves sorted out. And we will get ourselves sorted out. Don't you worry. We'll get ourselves sorted out soon enough. But that is all we've got time for in this first episode of Agrarian Skies 2. So, please leave a like. Share this with your friends. Let everyone know that I'm doing Agrarian Skies 2. And I'm going to attempt to do daily episodes for at least the first week. So you, you can follow along with all the derps of the early game Agrarian Skies. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next episode. Tomorrow.